Ruby Farm Guy here, and this is a Class Lexian 500 series by EED123 on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map, and this is 110.49 megabytes to download. It comes with a number of uh, items. Uh, there's two harvesters, four headers, and two header trailers. So uh, let's take a look at the harvesters first. And here we are. We have the 510 to 560 and the 570 to 580. 195,220. Uh, let's take a look at the 510 first. 232 to 380 horsepower CVT transmission. 600 liter of fuel. 18 mile per hour working speed. Uh, 6,300 to 11,500 liter hopper capacity. We go from 232, 272, 308, 320, 446, and then back down to 3, 346, 380. Yeah, 380. There you go. Uh, now notice the uh, length of the... Uh, there's various changes. Some small, some large. Capacities... So capacities, you know, hopper capacities go up, and the length of the um, auger tube go up as well. Uh, we have our regular choice of tires. They all have the same options, uh, standard or wide. A chaff blower. This is an interesting... We'll talk about this... Uh, well, not the chaff blower so much as, uh, well, the discharge... But we have a chaff blower option and a license plate option as well. And that's it for options on the 510 to 560. We move over to the 570, 580. It, uh, price is larger. So is the horsepower, 423 to 448. And everything else is the same. Uh, this one is 11,500 liter capacity. So that is pretty much um, standard for this one. We have 448, 423. So um, you actually pay more for less horsepower. Does that make sense? Not at all. I think there was maybe a mistake there. It's listing the 580 as 423 and the 570 at 448. Some, something's off there. Something got switched at birth or whatever. I don't know. Uh, again, tire options are all the same throughout every... Uh, tire manufacturer which makes things simple you can just choose whichever one your favorite one is and we have wides and a crawler track that is they are exactly the same through every one of those uh, we have straw chopper model old or new cooling radiator cover so we have a number of choices here for uh, the design of that as you can see here Chaff blower, we have a yes or no. Extra protection, yes or no. And a license plate. All right, so those are the harvesters. Uh, 16 and 20 slots on console. If we go drop down to headers. Too far. <laughs> There we go. So we have the four headers, starting with the uh, 6 meter, 6.6, 7.5, and 9 meter. They all have exactly the same options here. We have laser sensor pilots option and a big or small reel. And that's it. Uh, that's it across the board. 7 mile per hour working speed. So an extra mile per hour working speed. And finally... Uh, those are 11 slots each on console. Header trailers, we have two of them. We have the uh, V600 to 750, which are three of the headers. So depending on what length of header you have. And then we have a green or gray. And rim color, we have our choice of rim colors. And then, of course... 
the V600 to V900 trailer, just rim color choices there. All right, and those are three and four slots on console. Now, to the nitty gritty. So here is the largest header on the largest trailer. Let's get our help windows on. And um, let's, um, let's hop into this one first. So this is the trailer and the header on there. Everything seems to be working more or less Good. The headers snap on. We will show you that. However, just one thing to note on the 560 model, if we do enable straw swath, which we will show, you won't be able to hook up the trailer. See that? It conflicts there. So if you um, just disable the straw swath and you'll be able to hook up your trailer. Just a little bit of a side note there. All right. As for options in the, uh, let's let's drop this header. So we have uh, nothing in here. Uh, L1 and X folds it. We have lights, beacons, signals, as you would expect. All that good stuff. Horn right on interior pretty uh, pretty basic interior it looks like these are um, not the they're not the newest ones I'm not familiar exactly with um, what years these were available or anything like that but you can usually tell from the interior how many buttons and uh, things um, display things um, kind of the, the newer it is the more gadgets you have inside the cockpit or the cabin sorry it's not an airplane it's a harvester sometimes it looks like an airplane with the new ones with all the buttons and displays and stuff all right so this is the smallest of the two headers and if you can see here even if you miss it as long as it's touching it snaps on so it's v the the header trailers are very easy to use um, very very user friendly now let's uh, go ahead and unfold and we'll show you this one in uh, in action let's show it uh, turning around because it um, depending on the size of your header it uh, it will um, the workers do have a little bit of trouble with a couple of them so as I said this is a smaller one we have spreading and once it turns around we'll switch it over to swath dropping so you can see that so it seems like the smaller headers are less of a problem for the workers but it still kind of comes at it at a you can see that it comes at it at, a, at an odd angle. Now that's this isn't the only one that does that. It seems to be a thing with um, with harvesters since the last game update. Don't know why. All uh, right, let's see here. Enable straw swaths. So notice that drops down. And there we go. And there's the animation for that. So I have the straw blowers equipped, and that's what they do there. They blow a little bit of straw out the side as well. All right, so that is the 560. Here we have a 570. And let's, um, let's drop this header and attach the largest the largest header that's the one I had um, I've noticed a little bit more issues with it missing crops uh, when harvesting let's see if I drop this yeah see the laser I had one I tested one earlier that had those laser leveling things and they folded up when you dropped it but this one there's there stay on there they don't do anything it's just um, 
it's um, just a visual thing. It doesn't actually do anything in game. In real life, uh, they do, but not uh, not in game. All right. So we'll hire a worker here. And if we take a look here, this is set to straw st uh, swath dropping. All right, so watch uh, what he does when he turns around. Let's see if he does it again. Now, so far, everything's okay. I wonder if... Um, okay, he, he did okay. Sort of okay this time. But look at... Okay, actually, he did much better on this end than he did on the other end. So perhaps... A uh, headlands might be in order for this particular uh, this particular mod. Let's go to the other end. We'll switch to straw spreading, swath spreading. Horns, lights. For the most part, everything. Um, I mean, these are minor things, but can be somewhat annoying if um, if you're very detail oriented so there we go spreading very nice typical class and I think our uh, okay well let's just do that now let's see how fast it unloads <laughs> let's find a spot where it'll actually unload uh, there we go so the unload speed's pretty good for the uh, size of the hopper. So you won't be waiting around too long. That's nice. All right. I see it added the Terra Track uh, logo on the side when you add the tracks. That's interesting. All right. Let's try this again. All right. So over uh, over there, he was missing some. Uh, he was kind of turning around weird. I'm not sure if that was because it was at the end of the field. Ah, oh, yeah. See over here, he's like, yeah, that's what he did. Kind of couldn't decide whether to turn around or to, and then they did this. So he didn't do that at the other end, as you've seen. So it could be something to do with how the end of the field here. It's pretty open, but you never know and he's kind of um, got a bit of overlap there so a headland probably would be in order and it should be better but anyways that is it for the most part everything seems to be working good it doesn't have a lot of uh, open windows and stuff so it's a fairly nice and simple mod you're not going to be um... yeah you're not going to be burdened down with a lot of little things like opening the sides and stuff unless that's what you like and there's lots of mods for that too but anyways the class lexian 500 series by ed123 on farming similar 22 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one bye for now